Hi and hello, welcome back. Jana here with a new process video for the Alexandra Renke design team. And I'm working with the new butterfly collection. And these are just gorgeous. The papers are so beautiful. They are watercolor flowers and leaves and butterflies. And I have also added some white leaves, which I created with some um, Alexandra Renke dyes. And here I'm just showing you one of my awesome butterflies. And I uh, also used a dye from Alexandra Renke for that, or for the butterflies, and I added one layer of vellum and I believe seven or eight layers of tissue paper and I stitched them together and I love how they are looking. I, um, yeah, now you can see I have done a lot of pre-work with some fussy cutting and placing everything on the paper so that I can get the idea from what kind of page I wanted to create. And now I'm taking the time to glue all of the little pieces together so that I can move them as one big piece because um, I want to bring in some mixed media on my background paper, but I am totally um, sure that I will not get them in place like I have them now. And so I'm just taking the time gluing everything together with some uh, 3D squares for a lot of dimension. And yeah, so now I can easily handle that one as one big piece. And now I'm grabbing um, a texture paste with some silver in it and I'm bringing in some uh, magical powders. I have done that in the past with some texture paste and other mediums and I really love how this is looking with the shimmer on top and so um, and I mix two soft colors, um, a soft pink and a soft orange to just create um, an interesting background. In the end, you will not see a lot of that uh, mixed media part, but um, I really enjoyed this process. And I will also bring in um, the same colors as splattering. And um, later I will um, color around everything, but you will see that in a bit. So I have some paste left and I thought I would create kind of a smudging area where my picture goes, but I don't, I, I don't like how this is looking. So in the end, you will not um, see that because I'm covering it up, covering it up with my um, flowers and the picture. Um, so now I'm bringing in the peachy orangey tone again to add some splatters and um, the picture I'm scrapping, you can see on the right side is showing me and um, Tiffy and I met her back in March at the Creativa in oh my gosh I believe it was Dortmund I'm I'm I can't remember so and uh, she is one amazing uh, designer from the Renke team and she is um, just a sweetheart and so we had a very um, great time together I I had a great time with all of the um, team girls and so yeah we just uh, took that selfie and it's time to get um, on a layout, yeah. So I also added some pink splatters and I smudged the colors around. I'm adding some water um, so that I can have more um, a pinky tone to that area. And yeah, I love how this is looking. I was thinking about the blue or the turquoise or the green to get in the background but I don't want it to go too dark and so I'm just uh, staying on the pinky peachy side. Um, yeah, now I'm popping up the butterflies and here I'm showing you the shimmering and uh, or the shimmer and I totally love it. And uh, yeah, now you can see, you will not see too much stuff from the mixed media, but it's there and it's peeking out um, from the flowers and I just, I, I love it. So, and here I decided to bring in some thread and this is um, a matching thread um, like the green on the right side. And I'm just um, playing around because I wanted to bring in some more green, but I couldn't find um, enough leaves to add. Um, so I'm going with some uh, thread. And here I, I, I took a little break and glued everything down to the paper. And um, yeah, now I'm popping up um, the left uh, the butterflies. <laughs> and I decided to place these white butterflies in um, just in the mix from the flowers and I totally love how the white is um, yeah resting on top of it and I just I love it and because it's vellum and tissue paper it's not it's a very light and airy detail and I love that um, the second one will go underneath the flowers and um, yeah I just love them 
Um, I will add some more little flowers, so I will do some more fussy cutting, but I believe you will not um, see that. I will just, I will do that in a little break, I believe. Um, so yeah, just gluing that one down and um, then I will add some lights for my channeling and a title. So there is a lot of stuff going on on that um, already and uh, but I wanted to bring in some gold and a little title and I was thinking about um, a few options but I ended up with um, two creative girls and uh, yeah I know it's so creative I know but it's matching and it's um, the word creative is totally um, um, fitting inside from the um, butterflies and the leaves um, underneath the picture there's some open space kind of open space and I will place the word creative in yeah right there and um, I love how this is looking um, then I will add the word girls and I will do that um, on the right side next to the blue butterfly right there no not there but no <laughs> yeah right there so I'm just adding the word girls and then I will add um, the two on top of the picture and I will add my journaling lines um, underneath everything so I am um, uh, I was thinking uh, about resizing that background paper to 9 by 12 but I really love the white space around it and so I'm going with it and um, yeah you can't see it but I'm just adding some black lines for my journaling and uh, now I will take the um, shimmers no not shimmer the magical powders again just to create some more faded color edges around uh, everything because some of them was too much covered up you can't even see some of the color and so I'm taking the time to um, recolor and to add more details next to the pictures and uh, the picture it's only one and I totally love how this is um, it's not a big difference but it's just making making something so <laughs> I uh, I love it um, yeah and I believe I am nearly done yeah, I will bring in uh, my journaling and um, I believe I would add one more butterfly to the left side over the word creative or next to the word creative and uh, some matching animal dots and I will go with the bright green from the leaves or the soft green, it's not bright and some turquoise dots and um, yeah, I just love it. I really um, love how this layer turned out and I will link you to the butterfly collection so that you can check out the papers. They are all stunning and just um, awesome. So there's a butterfly, the two and some teeny tiny dots and my journaling is done and that's it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Talk to you soon and yeah, that's it. Close up. Bye.